Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I am finally here with my winter 2019-2020 FabFitFun edit sale tips, tips and tricks video and where I show you my cart as well and I talk about everything I possibly can remember about everything I possibly can in the edit sale as far as reviews and things like that are concerned. So if you're new to my channel, what I do is I record my computer screen. I go through the several ways that I use to help me pare down my cart. So get things out of my cart so that I don't spend on things that I just don't need. One of the things that I do is I have gone cruelty free. Another thing that I do is I check uh, the ingredients and products. And then another thing I do is I go to the company's website. I ask myself, do I really need this right now? If I don't really need it right now, I check Amazon, see if they have something comparable things like that. So I'll go through that and then I will <clears throat> switch over to the edit sale and show you what's in my cart currently. And then I will go to the full edit sale with all of the products and I will talk about the, what I can remember for every product. This is a shout, I wanna give a shout out to all the wonderful women who go to the community forum and support each other and provide feedback because I do read everything in there and that helps with that part of my video a great deal. I do a lot of research also, but that really does help and it's so fun to read those threads and everybody supporting each other. Anyway, I thought about that and I wanted to give a quick shout out to all of you wonderful women in that I'm pregnant so I'm getting out of breath easily. If you just want to skip to the edit sale, I'll try to remember to put a timestamp in the description box below. You just click on that time that will look like a little link and it'll jump you ahead to the part in the video where I'm talking about what's in my cart and what's in uh, and the stuff in the edit sale. So I am going to jump to recording my screen now. Okay, so here we are in my computer screen and I'm gonna go over the first thing that I mentioned that I used to help get items out of my cart. And that is I check to see if something's cruelty free. And I don't mean to talk about this like I'm on some sort of high horse. I actually, in the beginning, I started doing this really to help me pare down my cart. And the longer I've been doing it, I've noticed that it's kind of helped me. The, I've been, it's like practice. I've been practicing being cruelty free and it's helped me be more conscious about that in products across the board. So it's actually turned out to be a really great thing. So if if, if you decide you don't want to, you don't care about this, uh, you can go ahead and try to skip forward. Next, I'll talk about uh, how to look up ingredients in a product. Um, but right now, so this is my favorite cruelty free website. It's a resource. There are a few others. This one I like the best because it, well, first it's called Cruelty Free Kitty. So here's the URL, cruelty-free-kitty.com. Uh, I like it the best because it has, this is the homepage and if you scroll down a little bit on the homepage, it has a searchable database of brands. So we'll t type in a brand here soon. But I also like it because the woman who founded this website and administers it, she really does her diligence to not only make sure that she's accurate, but also to give companies a real chance to try to uh, let us know what their status is. She doesn't just automatically assume anything. So she really does her research. Um, so I'm just going to type in a brand that comes to mind. Let's do milk. There's a lot of milk makeup products in this sale. And so you just hit search and then, oh, so it came up right away. Sometimes it'll just come up as a link and then you click the link and then you go to the listing, the information on the listing. So it says it's now Leaping Bunny certified and 100% vegan. So this would mean that milk makeup for me would pass the cruelty-free test. There are different levels of cruelty-free. For instance, um, one that I often do as an example here in these videos is Kate Somerville. So I'll show you what hers, what that brand comes up as. So they are cruelty-free, but Kate Somerville, if you scroll down, there's a lot of information on each of the companies and their status. If you scroll down, you'll see that uh, Kate Somerville, it's not certified. That's not what I'm looking for. Aha, here. Although Kate Somerville is cruelty-free, 
uh, they're owned by Unilever, a company that tests on animals. So for myself, if a company if it is cruelty free, yet they're owned by a company that isn't cruelty free, that I still don't buy from that brand. So I don't buy Kate Somerville products. Uh, they restructured their website a little bit. That's why that took me a moment to find, but the information is still there. Uh, so another example of that is Living Proof is owned by Unilever. Living Proof is cruelty free, but they're owned by Unilever. Uh, Tart Tart is cruelty free, but they're owned by a company called Coz. So that that then Coz is not cruelty free. I've never heard of that company K O S E, but uh, so that would be another brand that I don't purchase. Even though Tarte, I've heard some of their products are pretty amazing and I have tried a couple of their products. So that's what I do and that's what I was uh, referring to in my intro about how you can decide for yourself what level of cruelty free you want to aspire for in your, you know, in your being a consumer, a <laughs> conscious consumer. So that's the first way. The second way is I go to Skin Charisma. So this is SkinCharisma.com. The website link is right here. I will put the links to these website also in web, websites also in the description box below. But the link is right here. And the neat thing about this is, that I discovered a few sales ago is that you can create a profile for yourself. So I've created an account and you can... Um, I haven't, you know, added any ingredients that I want to save, but you can save ingredients that you'd like to avoid, ingredients that you love, things like that so that it can become a more and more personalized search for you. But so if you go to skincharisma.com, there's a link right here and it says cosmetic analyzer. So you click that and then a text box comes up and then you can, let's go to the sale and pick a product and get the ingredients. Oh, let's try this one. I remember when this one was included in a box last year sometime, somebody really, people were really slamming it for having bad ingredients. So we're gonna copy the ingredients in this one. Another thing I wanna mention right now is sometimes the information in these description boxes on the FabFitFun site are inaccurate it's, it's it's inaccurate so if something looks funny you might want to go and seek out the information uh, to compare what it actually says on the company's website so anyway i'm copying these ingredients for the blue in capri the skin and co blue and capri shower gel and then i'm going to go over here to this box and i'm going to paste them in and you just hit analyze product and I, I actually can, I've done this so often now that I can spot a lot of ingredients that might be prob problematic. This website would be really, really helpful, particularly if you have sensitive skin. Something that it's not listing here is, I believe that this, this methyl chlorine, chlor <laughs> this, this ingredient right here can be pretty tough on sensitive skin. So if you're someone with sensitive skin, this would be a great way to start learning about which ingredients you need to avoid. I really feel for people with sensitive skin that must be really frustrating. Um, so preservatives and fragrances are often tough on sensitive skin. So anyway, I it analyzed it and it gives ratings. So this is the EWG, that's the Environmental Working Group, and this is the Cosmetics Ingredient Review. So those are two respected uh, companies, I guess they're companies um, or organizations, that's a better word, that uh, have a lot of information information on ingredients and they have their own websites so there's EWG I'll show you there's EWG and then they oh I don't know what that's about but they have a consumer guide so this is their main home page they have all kinds of stuff beyond beauty but uh, you can go to consumer guides and then there's the they have their skin deep that's what it's called so ewg.org slash skin deep so if you are in the Skin Chariz Charisma Analyzer and you see the EWG, for instance, let's do this one. They rated this word that's difficult to pronounce a six and which is um, a moderate risk. So you see up here, there's low risk, moderate risk, high risk grades for these ingredients. So it's a moderate risk ingredient. So we're going to search this on the EWG site. So ewg.org slash skin deep. They have a search box right here where you can put in 
uh, an ingredient brand or product and they'll they'll tell you more information as well and so we search this one and it'll tell you why so it found it it will tell you why it'll it'll give you more information for why it has that rating so it's because it's people can have allergic reactions to it like I would like I mentioned it's often an ingredient that is bad for sensitive skin so you can go in and look at that that's an example of one and then the the similarly with the cosmetics ingredient review so I'll show you that website as well here it is So this one has, uh, you can go to their website, cirsafety.org, and then you can go to ingredients, and you can also check for ingredients here. So if we look and we search this ingredient, it comes up, and then they have actually like full published reports on those ingredients. So this one is quite comprehensive. I actually like this one so far a little bit better, although both can be can be really, really helpful. So that's what those ratings are based on. And yeah, I think that's that's about it. That's enough to get you started. Definitely go to these websites and check them out. This is how I have learned about ingredients. I have gotten to a point where I can pretty much spot check an ingredients list and know if it is okay for the standards I've set for myself. I don't have sensitive skin, so I'm not really so... Uh, I'm not I oh, don't avoid really this preservative, but I do avoid formaldehyde releasers and parabens and and I, I kind of raise a flag at a couple of other ingredients anyway, so that's the ingredients now I'm gonna close those out and I am going to go to the sale before I start showing you what's in my car and and talking about the items in the edit sale I want to just show you a couple of tips and tricks especially if you're new uh, the one of the tips is if you go to the FabFitFun community okay how do you get here so if you go to FabFitFun.com right here, this is the home page, and there's this community tab right here. You click on that, and it takes you to this, I reference this forum all the time. It takes you to this forum, it's a community forum where members can get together and they can talk about the products. So I really like some wonderful member every sale usually starts a thread called product reviews and questions or something like that. And so this one is the one that I've mainly been following. I've read, you can see I've read almost all of them. There have been a few new posts since I last checked. So I like this one a lot. I used to participate, uh, but now that I want to put these videos together, I need to kind of hurry up and gather as much information as I can, but I, I kind of miss participating. The thing is, when you participate, you get into some really wonderful conversations and it can, it, it, you can really, you don't even notice how much time goes by. <laughs> um, and then, so there's the community forum. This is a wonderful place to go and talk to each other, talk to other members about what's available in the sale and get advice on what you might want to purchase. And then there's another thread that started every sale as well called Winter Edit, Your Questions Answered. This is started by a staff member. The FabFitFun staff start this thread and they you can go in and you can ask them questions and staff members will go and try to find the information and the answers. I do have to say that there was a woman who must have changed jobs or something a couple of sales ago because she is not the one administering it anymore and she used to do an excellent job and now she is not doing it anymore so I don't really see as many helpful answers coming through from FabFitFun on this thread at least in the past couple of sales uh, but this is another thread that you can go to where members start to help each other out and there have been some answers but there was that Nicole Lerner, Lerner was her name and she was amazing and she doesn't seem to be doing these anymore. She was so wonderful. But this is another helpful place that you can go called the, the Winter Edit Your Questions Answered started by a staff member every sale. And then, so that's the community forum. Go check it out. I highly recommend it. Get to know other members. And then another thing, I have some tips on navigating the sale that I wanted to uh, tell you about. And that is, 
let's see. So I wanted to, this is my cart. Okay. So if you, a lot of people might, if you're new, a lot of people, you might hear people refer to what they call the refresh game. So if you have something that you really, really want that's out of stock, you can go to it and you can hit the little heart button and that will add it to your favorites. So instead of having to go to the sale and clicking on all and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and hoping to find it in stock again, you can just go to the your favorites. So the my favorites tab is right here and you click my favorites and then you'll see so these are still out of stock. I have a couple of items marked with a heart, meaning I favorited them, but that will narrow it down. So if you want to try to snag one of these, you can literally play the refresh game, go to your favorites and reload the page. And then hopefully you will catch something available right when, oh, see, it just happened. So I was able to just add a conditioner. That's actually pretty neat that it happened live during this video because sometimes you can sit playing the refresh game for half an hour if you have that kind of time. But that's how you go in and you snag things that are out of stock. Okay, another tip that I want to point out is, uh, oh, you know what? I'm not seeing it anymore. They used to have, and this might not matter anymore, they used to have a last call tab and they may, might have gotten rid of it, which makes sense because it wasn't always accurate. <laughs> but they, I, you know what? I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna stop talking about it because it's not there. So they, they must have done away with it. Okay, so now I am gonna get into showing you what's in my cart. So let's go to my cart. Oh, I hope that, oh, I had loaded all of the sale items in the sale, so I didn't have to do this. And then I think I just accidentally closed that tab. So I'm gonna get the sale items all loaded up here. So when I go to talk about that, it's there and we don't have to wait for it. I guess we're having to wait for it now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, bear with me. This should only take about 20 more seconds. Okay, not even that. Okay, now we have all of the items loaded. So when I talk about that, I can just go over to this page. Okay, so my cart, apologies. This is my cart. I have 25 items and it's $180. So let's just take a moment to talk about the prices at this time. The prices in this sale look much more like the prices when I first joined, which was, I joined, my first box was fall 2018. And it was right after that where the prices in the sales started to go up uh, uh, significantly, fairly significantly. But now there are so many things that are only $5, which actually can make it harder to keep your cart total down because, you know, you keep thinking, it's only five bucks, it's only five bucks, but next thing you know, you have 10 things that are only five bucks and that's 50 bucks. Okay, so this is what's in my cart. I really like, I do like these headbands. Daily Concepts is a decent, decent line. I wouldn't say they're um, out of this world luxury, but they're decent and uh, this looks really cute. I'm getting the pink one. And then, these have excellent reviews, This, these kind lips, uh, chapsticks, they have excellent reviews on Amazon and people have said good things about them on the forum. And this is an amazing price for three chapsticks. And I often like to, I'll probably keep my favorite for myself and then I like to add these to gifts that I give people. I like to, you know, give them a big gift and then have a little small something on the side. So I will probably gift two of these at some point. Now this, I want to try. I like this kind of product. I'm getting the uh, browner one, obviously. I have brown hair. And um, it's a tinted brow gel. This billion dollar brows company, they're an Orange County based company. And they obviously focus on brow products. I think that they've started to branch out. But if you are interested, I have a product that I really, really like that is um, Elf Wow Brow. And it's a dollar cheaper on Ulta. This is it. And I love it. I love it. It's great. This is a wonderful product. So if you want to try this instead, it's save yourself a dollar. You could do that. 
Anyway, I'm, I'm going to grab this just to see how it is. I've been curious about this billion dollar brows company. I am excited for this. So if you watch me because you also have a similar hair type, curly hair, styling creams are wonderful for curly hair. And I do like a lot of the Marrakesh products. Well, I've used, I've only used two. I've used two of the Marrakesh products, the oil and the leave-in spray. And I like both a lot. So this has excellent reviews on Amazon. So I am going to get two since they're only $5. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to get two of these for myself also because my husband tends to like some of my products, especially my styling creams. So I have a feeling he's going to discover this and use it as well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spring for two banking on the fact that I am going to like it because it had amazing reviews on Amazon. Nobody has mentioned this on the forum, but styling creams work wonderfully in curly hair if you did not know that or wavy hair even, when you, you put it in when your hair's still wet and it'll dry really nicely. Okay, I had a really hard time picking a shampoo and conditioner, but I'm going with the We Are Paradox. I tried their hair mask and I actually wasn't wowed by it, but it smelled wonderful and it didn't, but it didn't feel any more nourishing than a conditioner, which is fine. I really like the company. They're based in Ireland and they are one of the things that they're really, um, they really are a proponent for it is they make their packaging as sustainable as possible. They use as little plastic as possible. So you'll see this is probably an aluminum based uh, container. So I really, really like that about the company and they're also cruelty free and all those other things that uh, really excite me uh, when it comes to the companies I'm looking at. So I'm going to try that and I have the conditioner as well. It's down in the out of stock items right here. Um, there was one not so great review on Ulta, but other than that, there are a handful of reviews out there about this conditioner and they're pretty positive. People say less positive things about the shampoo though. I have been doing uh, prenatal yoga and I thought that I would grab this for myself uh, so that I can start doing some yoga at home. There are a lot of prenatal yoga YouTube videos and I should just start doing that in between the sessions I can go to uh, at the yoga studio I found. <clears throat> so this is a great price. These blocks are wonderful if you do a lot of yoga. This has great reviews. I am excited to try it. I don't have a vitamin C serum. So I'm going with this one. It was the most affordable one in the sale. I think Skin Authority has one, and I'm, I'm actually getting quite curious about Skin Authority. Oh, now I'm kind of going out of order. Okay, let's go back up here. This I have talked about many times on my channel, the Bear Republic SPF 30 Mineral Face Lotion. It's wonderful. That said, I have not used another mineral face lotion. I have only used this one because they are available in these sales. So take that for with a grain of salt. But I really like it. It smells slightly like baby powder. It leaves minimal white cast uh, and then actually no white cast, very little white. It, it goes on and then it you have to like rub and it, it rubs out. So no white cast. Sorry, I misspoke. No white cast. Uh, <clears throat> I am fair skinned, so I'm not sure if it would um, leave anything on a darker complexion. But uh, yeah, so I'm maxing out on these. I use these every single morning. So I'm excited that they are available on the sale again. This wallet, they don't really, oh, they do have a second picture of the back. I have seen people talk about this wallet on the forum and that they really, really like it. So it's a bifold wallet <clears throat> and then it uh, has two, it, oh, it says it here. Uh, I, I saw a picture on the forum of the inside, but it's described here. So bifold features two pockets with six credit card slots. And people have said that they really like it, the ones who have gotten it. So I'm grabbing one. I thought about grabbing a second one because I thought it would be a nice gift to have on hand for somebody. But Christmas is over. It just happened. I just gave a bunch of gifts. So I'm going to, I decided I'm not going to, I'm going to try to not think that way. So I have very little in here. Hardly anything in here is in, I, I have in mind as a gift for anybody. These uh, lip balms, have wonderful reviews both online on the Feel website and um, on the forum. People are talking about them. They're very excited about them. I have gotten really into wearing a nice, nourishing 
lip balm or chapstick at night when I'm sleeping. My lip, <clears throat> my uh, lips are very, very soft when I wake up, and then my long-lasting lipstick wears really well. So I am excited about this. Sorry, I mentioned I'm pregnant and I get out of breath, so and that's happening right now. <laughs> Um, so I will keep one, likely, maybe two, and then gift another one. I, I know I said I'm not thinking about gifts, but since these are three packs. Uh, so I have tried this. I've talked about this a lot in my channel. I love this. It is a very simple, very straightforward uh, uh, makeup remover. There was somebody on the forum saying that she hated it and that she, it was messy and she woke up and her eyes were swollen. So she might have missed this allergen <laughs> note that uh, if you're allergic to tree nuts, you might be allergic to this. So I think she might have been allergic to something because it really is all natural. It's an amazing, amazing oil cleanser for the double cleanse and it's $5. It smells amazing. It smells spa-like and wonderful. I love it. Um, I need a hair mask and I am, this is my one thing that I'm going to kind of gamble on and try. So this has three reviews, I think on Amazon and they're all five stars. That's pretty much all I can find about it. Uh, I d could find, I did confirm it was cruelty free via their website. Sometimes in cruelty free kitty, you won't see the product you're looking for and you have to go to that company's website to look for a statement about whether or not they test on animals and pretty much always if they don't test on animals, companies will brag about it. So you will find it on their website. If you don't find it on their website, it's probably because they have something to hide. So if you're using that as a tool to eliminate things from your cart, if I can't find it on their website, I assume that they they allow their products to be tested on animals in some form or another. Usually it's because a company allows their products to be, they're on the Chinese market. And so there are laws in China where certain products need to be tested on animals. So anyway, I'm digressing a little bit there, but this is a, and I'm going to gamble on this and hope that it's good. And I'll let you guys know. I'll let, it was in the last sale. I almost got it. I need a, I need a hair mask. And this is the one I'm, I've decided on. Um, the, this necklace, I often talk about how I'm very, I am very skeptical of the jewelry and FabFitFun sales. But um, if you the, just always check the materials, what is it made of? This is uh, polished stainless steel. So that's a perfectly acceptable fine material for jewelry. So I think that this is a really cute layering necklace. So I am going to get it. I wear silver typically. I want to start making a transition to wearing gold sometimes, but I have no gold. So I just have to, I don't know, maybe I'll just throw this in, but I, uh, blah, I don't know. Oh gosh, this, <laughs> see, this, this is really hard to not throw too much into your cart. Okay, so I want to make a transition to gold uh, and, and be able to kind of switch back and forth, but not, I don't own anything gold, so that's an investment. Anyway, I am really excited to see this in the sale again, and I think it's even cheaper than it was in the last sale. I was kicking myself for not picking it up in the last sale, the Ahava Hydration Cream Mask. This is either just a three-minute mask or an overnight sleeping mask. I have never used anything that was so hydrating on my face before as an overnight sleeping mask. It is amazing. Without fail, when I use it, I wake up, and my, my skin is the softest and most hydrated I've ever felt. It's amazing. Excuse me. Uh, so I'm getting three because this is also very giftable. I know that I absolutely love it. It's $5. I would be proud to give this as a gift to my sister at some point. So I am getting three of these. There are a couple other hydration mat or overnight masks in this sale. I'll let you know what I learned about those. So I already talked about these three things. Oh, this was available in the last sale and I think it was I think it might have been $21 or maybe even a little bit more that it's included in this sale and um, the price is is phenomenal this time. So I am going to get it. I think this would be a really fun thing to do with my mom and my sister. People are saying wonderful things about it on the forum that got it last time that it's, it's a great peel facial to do at home. I'm excited about this. Some, this reminds me of something. So my, I 
am inclined to assume that the reason this is so much cheaper is that they still have stock from last time. So I'm a little bit concerned about what the expiration date is. One of my subscriber friends sent me an email that FabFitFun has decided not to list expiration dates on their website on the in these uh, descriptions anymore because it was so hard. It, it is so hard for them to predict what the expiration date is going to be on the exact one of the items that you receive because sometimes they're getting in new shipments of the product and the expiration date doesn't match what they were told by the supplier. Anyway, they just said it's just too hard to manage and make sure that it's accurate. So unfortunately, FabFitFun has decided not to list expiration dates on their products anymore. They're only, only going to be listing um, PAO dates, which are the, which means period after opening, but you'll see on some of these PAO dates, which will be 12 months. So after you open it, the product's good for 12 months, that kind of thing. But so I'm a little concerned about the expiration date not being um, uh, not being a long time from now on this product. But I'm gonna I'm gonna spring for it. I think it would be a lot of fun. This has really great reviews. I find R and Co products a little hit and miss for me. Some people love them. A lot of people love them across the board. They're a little hit and miss for me. From um, hit and miss for me because I think it's mostly because they put fragrance in and sometimes it's a really great unique fragrance and sometimes it's really really just too much for me uh and this one i would definitely plop into the skin charisma if you have sensitive skin to see if there are any potential irritants there's a lot of stuff going on in this one nothing really really harmful just potential irritants um, anyway, okay, and then this bundle, so okay, oh, I'm, <laughs> I get a little excited. So Sinaj has been in sales for, I don't know, for maybe a year now. I've been seeing their products, and finally, I'm starting to see people discussing their products in the forum, and people are saying amazing things about this line, whereas I couldn't really find much before, so that's kind of nice. If you wait a little while and people start using um, using products from uh, different line, uh, lot lines that are available in sales, you'll start to see feedback on them and if you should also be getting them. So I re I played the refresh game to get this package because this is, or bundle, <laughs> I played to get this bundle. So this is a really, really excellent, excellent deal. I think it has almost everything uh, available individually in this sale from this brand. In a, in a bundle. But uh, you can also get these things individually in the sale. People are think, saying wonderful things about the brand. So I'm really excited to try some of their stuff, even though I do not need any more moisturizers in my life right now. I have plenty. But uh, it's so it only contains one moisturizer though. Okay. So this, I, um, I'm, again, it's R and Co. I'm a little nervous about what it's going to smell like, but I did watch a video of them using it and it looked like it would work wonderfully in my husband's hair. Again, he often likes to use my hair products. So I think that he would like this one. I'm going to, I'm going to give this one a gamble, $5, the $5 gamble. And then these Lexi brushes. So, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> So there are several sets of brushes, the only one of several sets of brushes available in the sale. The only ones that I would recommend are the Luxie set. I know that these aren't necessarily eye, eye makeup brushes, but um, the other sets aren't necessarily, don't, don't have the best reviews. But <clears throat> I got the eye set of these Luxie brushes in a, in a couple of sales ago, and I like it. I like them. So I'm going to get these to kind of round out my collection, and then I think after I get these, I have plenty of makeup brushes to last me a while. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's my cart. That is my cart, $187. It went up. I think I added. Did I add that necklace? I did, didn't I? No? Okay. Anyway, I'm not sure how it went up. I thought it was 180 or maybe I'm just losing my mind. Okay. So now we're going to go over to the sale and we're going to talk 
about all of the products that are in the sale and I'm going to let you know if I know anything about them. If I don't, I'll just kind of skim over it and say I don't know. So Spongels, if you've been watching me for a while, oh, another thing that I, I don't buy products that have a lot of waste to them. So I, I a long time ago decided I didn't want to buy Spongels. I do have a subscriber friend who has told me that she's she has a way of reusing the sponge gels in her garden. So I think as kind of irrigation for potted plants, but um, I'm not exactly sure how she does. So she has figured out a way to reuse them. Otherwise, if these are just going to get thrown away, which is probably what I would end up doing, um, I don't buy them because I just feel like they're wasteful. But that's just me. Aside from that, People love them and a lot of people go on the forum and they talk about what the scents, what the best scents are. So if you're not sure which scent to buy, definitely go on the forum and see if you can do a, a search in the forum for the scent you're looking at and get some opinions on that. And if you can't find it through a search, just post something in the forum and people will definitely weigh in and let you know which scents they like the best. I don't buy them though. So this uh, mini uh, Amica Polished Mini Perfection Mini Straightening Brush, I got this in the winter, nope, in the summer editor's box and it is not very good. I don't recommend it. Um, I have coarse curly hair, but I really just don't recommend it at all. I don't know that straightening brushes would work really well in general. Um, I don't recommend this. It was not effective. Maybe if you have mostly smooth hair already and you need a touch up, it could work. It, it could work that way. It could work that way. But there are much more effective hair tools out there and products. Um, so Tarte, I mentioned that I don't purchase because they are owned by a company that tests on animals. People do. I haven't seen anybody talking about this mascara. I've seen people talking about the palettes, though, and, and people do like their palettes. But um, I haven't seen anyone say anything about that. I mentioned this. I have this eyelash curler. Uh, I am not an expert on eyelash curlers. There is talk in the forum about eyelash curlers and people recommending better ones that you can get outside of the sale. I do think, though, that I, I have used this one and I thought it was just fine. But I again, I don't use eyelash curlers very, very often, but I thought it was I thought it was great. I thought it was really good. The Green Goo stuff is well loved. Um, and it is cruelty free, all those wonderful things, has great ingredients. I bought the dry skin tin for my husband once a while ago, thinking I'd use it too, and it just sits in the cabinet. So I decided that I'm not getting any more because of that. I talked about the billion dollar brown thing that's in my cart. This looks great if you're a traveler. I would get it if I traveled a lot um, on the plane. This, okay, so this... This is a company that I would like to start hearing feedback on, kind of like what I was saying with the Sonage. I've been seeing it for many sales in a row and nobody really talks about it still. They seem new. They're, um, I've said this before that one thing that I like that FabFitFun seems to be doing lately is they have a lot of um, brands that are startups, women owned, cruelty free, non-toxic, all those wonderful things that they're supporting and putting in their in their sales. So this is one of them, uh, but so their website, they don't have a lot of reviews. Nobody's really talking about them. So we'll see if people start to talk about this brand of products. And as always, I don't claim to know everything. I'm just sharing with you guys what I found out. I would love it if you uh, shared your thoughts in co the comment section below on anything that I don't know anything about. Perhaps I might be misspeaking or I read opinions that don't reflect your own. Share what you think. I would love to have a conversation started in the comment section below. Maybe I'll hop on in the, during the next uh, sale window and get something else that you say that I should. Um, I don't tend to do bath bombs. Not for any real reason other than I don't like my bath, so I'm not getting bath bombs. I looked into this. This doesn't look like it's for my hair type, although it does look like it could be pretty amazing. The one the great thing about r &Co is they, they do little mini videos where they use all of their products, and you can go on, you can do a search, like here, I'll show you. You can do a search, and you it'll come up. So right away, you can see there's somebody using this product
I'll just let this run. So RN Co does videos like this. So it's so helpful to decide if a product might be right for your hair type. A lot of times they use it on people with straight hair though. So I think that's another reason why I don't feel like r &Co products are, are for me because a lot of their videos, they're using it, they're using their products on somebody with the, the hair type that that model had. Um, anyway, it does look like it could be a great product, not for me. I don't do sheet masks for the reason that I mentioned the waste, so I don't like the one-time use aspect of them. Uh, I do know that a lot of these are also K-Beauty stuff, so this is made in South Korea, Korea, uh, and so they could be all really great. I know that there are some other uh, YouTubers who do similar videos to the ones I do that might have some things to say about the sheet masks, because there are, there are always a bunch in the sales, but I just don't get them. I don't buy them. This I thought looked kind of cute and it was in my car for a while. It's a light up compact mirror and then I decided I just didn't need it because it wasn't something I was missing in my life. So I don't need to spend that money on it. I have been getting by just fine without it. This is something I, I talked about it when I grabbed the ingredients to show you in Skin Charisma. This was not well received. We got it in our fall 2018 box, I believe. I think everybody got it and it got slammed for some ingredients in it. Honestly, I don't see anything particularly horrible except for I don't know why it has all of these dyes. I, I, don't, I don't understand why, why it needs dyes in it. So uh, anyway, people did not like this. I didn't use mine because people didn't like it. I didn't even try it. I think I, I think I donated it to the women's shelter. So I saw one person on the forum say that the beauty cut crop products are terrible. Um, they're a British company, I believe, and most of their products are made in China. Uh, let's see. Yeah, made in China. And oh, and here's the PAO, the period after opening that I referred to. So after you open these, they're good for 18 months. Um, but uh, yeah, so most of their products are made in China. I have tried, I bought one set of lip brulee lip glosses from them in a previous sale. They weren't called lip glosses and I didn't realize that they were lip glosses. So I didn't like them because I'm not a lip gloss person. But I think as far as lip glosses go, they seem like they could be fine. I haven't tried anything else though. And that was just one person on the forum who said that. But Anyway, uh, they their website seems kind of fun. I don't know much else about them. Mud Masky, this is a Dutch company made. This is product is made by a Swiss uh, dermatologist and that lives in the Netherlands. And he, uh, it's if you have issues with your scalp, this could be really good for you. Yeah, if you if you have itchy scalp or, or maybe psoriasis even. I don't know if it'd be strong enough for psoriasis actually, but dandruff control, things like that. Uh, this could be something that would be really good for you. I talked about this. It's in my cart. This, um, there was, there was a little discussion on the forum about this claiming pseudoscience, which I, I, I somewhat agree with, but then I also see how it could be beneficial. Like I see, I see both sides, which is kind of the easy way out when you say I see both sides to the argument on this. Supposedly, this delivers negative ions into your system and can promote healthier skin that way. I don't know. Maybe it's really just a placebo effect or maybe it just simply feels good. I don't know. I've seen, I know Tati has one from another brand that she absolutely loves. I'm not into it. I forget to use things like this. I'm not going to get it. But uh, there was a little bit of a debate about whether or not this is even a legitimate, a legitimate product. Um, this is interesting. So I, I have their mineral face lotion in my cart, but I don't know what the mousse would be like. I already bought some of their... Um, body body sunscreen in the previous sale that's not the mousse so I don't need that but that's mousse interesting to me this is a company I don't know too much about them I did look at their website they're owned by a neutro nutraceuticals I I didn't their website another thing that I do is I'll go to the company's website and if if it appeals to me just through the online delivery the content of the website in one way or another 
I will I will be become more intrigued. It didn't appeal to me. Their website didn't appeal to me. I, if I think here, I'll show it to you. And I and and because of that, I just decided to save my money. Yeah. There was just something, it's just simply the layout. Going there right now, the layout, it looks cluttered and busy and hard to navigate. So I pretty much, I looked at their about page, which I usually do. So I went here and I always read that. And then I just, I just kind of, I wasn't impressed, even though it had nice things to say. Anyway, so I wrote them off. <laughs> they could be amazing though, but it, but that helps me save my money. They don't know anything about this. Lorac is in the gray area, what's called the gray area as far as being cruelty free. This does have wonderful reviews, this matte lip color of theirs. So I did have it in my cart, but they're in the gray area, in which means that uh, cruelty free kitty, the woman that I talked about that does her due diligence, she hasn't been able to get a solid answer from the company committing to the fact that they do or do not test on animals. They have either been evasive or unclear in their language. So she puts those companies into a gray area until she can confirm one way or another. So they're in a gray area. So I don't purchase them until I see a confirmation. Um, here's daily concepts. They have decent stuff. Uh, I've talked about this. I don't know anything about this. Mystery bundles, I got one once, uh, one regular one once, and it I, there was one thing in it that I was able to give my sister for this past Christmas. It was a grown alchemist moisturizer. I haven't used anything, other, anything else that came in that bundle. And then I got the mega mystery bundle in the last sale, and that was a disappointment. So I don't do them anymore. Sheet masks. I don't do sheet masks. Excuse me. <clears throat> Okay, daily concepts. I don't know about that one. People are saying wonderful things about these towelettes. Again, one time use. I am pregnant. I can see me caving on this one and maybe keeping towelettes in my purse when I have a baby. They get quite messy. So I, I can see me caving and I had a couple of these in my cart, but then I realized I don't need this right now. When I need them, I can seek out some reasonably priced towelettes, but people do like this one. Nuria. I have not used this one. I have used something else by them that's available in this sale. I talked about it in my last video. I will talk about it then when I, when I get to it. This is a K-Beauty brand. Um, Let's see, I talked about this, it's in my cart. I talked about this, it's in my cart. Kate Somerville, I mentioned, owned by Unilever. I haven't seen anyone, so so I don't buy it, owned by Unilever. Um, but I will still talk about what I've heard about the, the products that I'm not buying. I will still let you know in this video what I've heard. I don't think I've seen anyone talk about this particular cleanser in the forum. I did not seek out reviews on it because I am not buying it. Um, but people really do like a lot of the Kate Somerville stuff. I like blue light blockers. So there's been some debate on the forum about these as well. I don't know anything about the science behind it. Uh, well, I know very little. If I started to try to explain it, I would start like mumbling over myself. But what I do know is that I've used these and on those nights where I am watching a bunch of YouTube videos or going crazy on an edit sale, and I wear these and I close my computer and I decide I'm going to go to bed. If I've been wearing these, I fall asleep so much faster than if I have not been wearing these. So that in itself makes them so worth it. I wouldn't get these for $17. I think there's a pair available for five. You don't need, unless you think these are particularly cute. I there, you can get them. I got mine for five dollars, and there might be another pair available for five dollars in the sale. But I do find I do think that physically they make a difference. They help me a lot, especially if I'm going to be on the computer late at night. Um, so people, someone did say that they liked this salt and pepper. Uh, here's this Gaia by Neon and Co company. Again, I already gave a little spiel on that company, waiting to see people start talking about them, letting us know what they think. This seemed like an interesting company. I love nail products. I really, really do. My husband has asked me not to do my nails while I'm pregnant. Um, so I'm holding off on those. 
uh, things. This, I have, things, somebody said that this is, uh, these are Turkish towels, I believe. Are these Turkish? Yes, 100% Turkish cotton, which means that they're likely not the absorbable terry cloth. They're probably more cloth-like. So just FYI there. Otherwise, they look like lovely towels, pri lovely pricey towels. Um, mm, there was some debate on this in the forum that I don't remember what was said, but there is talk about it in the forum if you want to go see what people are saying about the Freesia Body Pair Lotion by Spongel. Uh, this was in a box of, I think the summer box before I joined. So if anybody has this and wants to let us know what they think about this clutch in the comments below, please do. Um, I don't know anything about this. This is the, again, that Lorenim brand that I looked at the website and I just felt like it was cluttered and I didn't want to look any further. Uh, and I wrote off their company because of it. Um, the fall box, I didn't like the fall box very much, so I wouldn't recommend it, but you can obviously go and search out unboxings of it to see if you want one. They're offering it for 30 bucks, which is a great price. I don't know about this. Wish, I haven't used a lot of Wish products. I've used two Wish products. I didn't like one. It was the exfoliating foot mask. It was really weird and didn't make sense and didn't work. Uh, and then I've used their lip scrub, which was amazing. I don't know much about their other, other products. I do know that I like the company. I respect their practices, cruelty-free and very, very conscious with their ingredients. They always have this list here at the bottom of their products that says paraben-free, sulfate-free, phthalate-free, DEA and TEA-free, uh, petrochemical-free, cruelty-free, leaping budding certified. So I'm all about that. So if you are interested, that's all I know. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, I don't know anything about this facial oil. I do know somebody said something about what they thought about it on the forum. I do know somebody said that these were cheap and one snapped on them and they curl up if you have them wrapped around your legs. They're far superior resistant bands to get on Amazon if you're interested in resistance bands. Uh, there are a lot of really neat little Ahava bundles. I have tried the water hand cream and it had, it was fairly fragrant. I got used to it quickly. At first, I thought it was a little much opening it out of the box, but I think, you know, when, when something's been boxed up, the fragrance kind of collects and then it smells really strong and needs to dissipate. Anyway, so I thought the water fragrant, fragrance was nice. I think that it's, um, I think it's well liked by others. I feel the reason I hesitated is I think there's another fragrance that people preferred more in a, another sale recently. But anyway, so this could be an interesting little duo, foot and hand cream. It isn't much of a discount. I don't know that I would pay that. I found mine at Ross. I found a two pack of the water hand cream at Ross for $4.99 or something like that. So I don't know that I would pay that price for it. I talked about this. Um, this is one of the brush sets that I was saying. I'm not seeing a lot of love for the other brush sets in this sale. The only one I'm seeing people recommend are the Luxie ones. So buy that at your own risk. I'm not I'm not sure about this billion but billion dollar brows company. That's why I want to try their brow gel that's available so I can kind of see what their stuff is like. Um, I don't tend to buy things like this from these sales because if I'm going to get a knife set, I want to go out and research and do a good job picking some really good knives. This is a great price. Costco has knife sets for this price if you're a Costco member. Um, yeah, so I don't really tend to get stuff like that. I don't get vitamins. I don't know. These look kind of interesting, but I'm not going to get them. This... If you're a face mask person, this looks awesome. Again, I don't buy them because of the one-time use thing, but this is like a little face mask uh, container. You know, if you get a lot of, I still have a lot of face masks because they get gifted all the time, but it's a container. You know, you have that mountain of face masks just kind of piled in a drawer. So this would be kind of neat if you really like face masks to have them organized in a tin like this. So if I liked face masks, I would be really interested in this. Okay. Um, I saw one person say something about this being decent, but nothing, she wasn't raving. Um, 
the editor's box. Okay, so the editor's box is always available for $39.99 in the edit sale, but you cannot customize, customize it. If you wait till after the edit sale, it will be available in the shop for $49.99 and you can customize it. I highly recommend waiting and paying the extra $10 so that you can choose what you want in those boxes. Um, I don't know about these teamy brands. I don't know much about Aesthetica. I do know. Okay, so here's another Ahava bundle. Uh, I'll I will skip over bundles and talk about things in, individually. Um, Timmy, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. Uh, Daily Concepts bundle that could be good. And anyway, oh, I had looked into this last time it was available. I believe it's one of those women-owned startups, cruelty-free. Uh, yeah thoughtful about their ingredients made in China. I know I've seen some people say they absolutely do not buy things made in China uh, for, you know, their own reasons I can understand. Um, and then, oh, somebody asked about these. I don't think anybody said anything though. This is, oh, but what I can tell you is that this is made by Earthly Body, which is the same company that makes the Marrakesh hair products, hair care products. So that's, yeah, Earthly Body. They make Marrakesh hair care products. Okay. <clears throat> More masks I don't get. I talked about the green goo. Oh, except for that I almost got this because like I said, I, I'm pregnant. I'm going to have a baby. But I realized I don't have the baby in my arms yet and I don't know if a baby's going to have skin problems and need it. So I decided I don't need to purchase it preemptively. This, I, no one, this is another one kind of like that Gaia, um, brand that's in here. No one's really saying anything about it. No reviews. I don't like to drink alcohol. So the simple fact that all of their products are kind of alcohol themed, um, kind of deters me from wanting them. So I don't, I don't, I'm not interested in buying them. Uh, here is the jewelry again, check materials. This is a brass base with color plating. You could find something probably better quality at Claire's. I, I don't recommend. <laughs> but, you know, if you don't care, it still looks nice. I'm not saying they look bad. I'm just talking about how long it will last and whether or not it will tarnish on you. Those kinds of things. I think they still look nice. And I don't mean to sound snobby. But for this retail price, for this regular price, it that is, that is just absurd. That's just absurd. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> okay. So I talked about this in my last video, the Nuria Beauty Defend Gentle Exfoliator. I didn't like it. The smell wasn't awful, but there was something that smelled more like cleaner. And I'm not talking about toxic cleaner, like maybe like a natural cleaner of something like the Honest Company would make, but it just didn't have the best smell. And also the exfoliating, the exfoliator in it, it felt like it was soft, which was nice. It wasn't very abrasive, but it felt like dead skin cells. It felt like what your skin feels like if it sloughs off as you're, as you're rubbing it. That's what the, and, it, and it, so it weirded me out. Anyway, I didn't enjoy using it. I used it like three times and it's going in the donate pile. I don't know. This just, uh, this seems like it could be helpful. I don't know. Um, compression socks. This is another thing. I'm pregnant. I thought about buying it preemptively because I am told I'm going to swell up. I'm not swelling yet. Uh, and I checked Amazon and I saw that I can get like a three pack of compression socks for $15. So when and if I need them, I will buy them from Amazon then. So I took those out of my cart. Kate Somerville. I don't remember. Again, I don't buy them, but I don't remember anyone saying anything about this product, this sale, but it's been in past sales and I know people talked about it. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Uh, this one was interesting. I had it in my cart for a while debating. This retail price, I don't, I can't find it online. I, it's much cheaper elsewhere online, but it's still expensive. Um, I do think that our hands are a very important part of our beauty routine. And if as you're doing your face, you can remember to rub your product on the back of your hands as you're doing your face. I do think that that's important. So I like that this is kind of made in the spirit of not forgetting that our hands also tell people what our age are age is. But um, I don't know that we need like a separate product for it. I also couldn't find any reviews. Um, so I dumped it. Um, I don't do self-tanner, so I can't speak to that. I think that this is darling. 
I think this is so cute. My sister would love this brown one, but I dumped it because I realized, like I said, Christmas just ended. I don't need to think, start thinking about presents again yet. I used this Air NYC Active Face Wash. It came in a Pediver box, and at first I did not like it. I thought it was overly drying. I thought that the smell was okay, um, but... What I noticed is that it was a little bit drying, but I didn't, it wasn't too drying. It wasn't anything that my moisturizer couldn't handle and fix. And I have dry skin. And then I, I noticed that it was very cleansing. I actually, I grew to like it. I didn't grow to love it, but I grew to like it. I didn't like it at first. So that's how I felt about this one. Air, it's a, it's a New York based company. I think Air, I forget what Air means. It, it says it on the side of the bottle. It might even say it right there. No. Anyway. Um, no, no. I'm stuck here. <laughs> Hang on. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, so I didn't grow. I grew to like it. I didn't grow to love it. And I didn't like it at first. Okay. Here's more sheet masks. I don't do those. People were excited to see this in the Zale uh, from the spoilers, but then I'm not seeing anybody talk about it much in the forum after that. It's a front. It's made in France. I do know, uh, I checked the Amazon reviews. A lot of the Amazon reviews thought that it was a fake product. Oh, and you know what, spot checking this, this ingredient right here is a formaldehyde releaser, which I find hard to believe that a formaldehyde releaser would be in something that was made in the EU. Huh, because the EU has more strict rules on ingredients that can be in these kinds of things. Anyway, that's a little confusing to me. I, I would, if I, if I weren't recording right now, I would, I would look into that further. That's something that I would research further. People like this a lot. I found on the forum, it seemed to be people with oilier skin liked it. Uh, so it's, it's probably a lighter uh, facial serum. It's a facial oil. It's an oil serum. Um, Levito is a wonderful brand. I like Levito. So it could be really nice. I dumped it from my cart because I have dry skin. I don't tend to get techy gadgets on here because it's another thing where you could get a busted product and have a nightmare time getting any kind of replacement or reimbursement from FabFitFun. I would much rather go to Amazon or somewhere else and research a good quality version of whatever that thing is. Um, I'm not going to talk about that. More beauty crap. I, t I mentioned what I did about beauty crop. I already talked about beauty crop, so I'm going to skip over that product. I, gosh, I, I don't, I don't recall anyone saying anything about this Kate Somerville product either, retinol and vitamin C serum. Um, I am sorry, I don't buy Kate Somerville and I didn't see anything. I didn't, so the reason I don't know is I don't research them otherwise. It's just what I might see on the forum for stuff like Kate Somerville or brands that I don't purchase. So the other stuff, I go to their websites, I do research, I look into it, but so here's a bundle. I'm going to skip over the bundle and talk about each of the individual products as I come to them. I almost got this and I, I talked to, I said, I need you to help me to con help convince me to dump this from my cart. But these are really adorable journals and of course, very giftable. Here's a bundle. Here's Beauty Crop. Again, I already talked about Beauty Crop. I already talked about the Tima towels. Oh, so I didn't get the hand salve, but I got the Seed Phytonutrients uh, moisturizing cream, and I will get to that. I'll talk about Seed when I get to that product because that is available here too. Um, I have plenty of these microfiber makeup remo removers. It's just microfiber. Um, I don't know. I don't know. People love their teapots. I don't drink tea, but my sister does. I gifted to gifted it to her a couple of Christmases ago because this came in our boxes last, uh, last, was it last winter? I gave it to my sister for Christmas. Um, <clears throat> and people love them. Tea drinkers love this. So it's very, very darling. It's a darling little teapot. teapot. It makes enough for one big cup of tea. Oh, 20 fluid ounces. Okay, there you go. Makes 20 ounces. <laughs> so I almost purchased another one because it's so cute and so loved that I thought it would be another great gift to have on hand. But again, it's too soon to just start collecting gifts again. Uh, so I already talked about this line of products. They, you know, they, 
intoxicating beauty. It's alcohol centric and just kind of turns me off for that reason. And there aren't any reviews. Um, this is a brand that you can't find reviews on. It's newer, that kind of thing. So no, nothing really, no information. Um, they are cruelty free and all that. That's, and they, they are conscious of their ingredients, but no information really talked about these two things are in my cart. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about the Kate Somerville stuff. I'm sorry. I actually, I felt like I did, but I just don't know. <laughs> this I gave to my mother-in-law for Christmas. Um, some people hate it because it's too light, too lightweight. And some people love it because it's lightweight. So it's a lightweight throw. So if you're in warmer climates, you might, you might want it. Um, I have not tried this Levito product, but I do like Levito products, the purifying facial mask and exfoliator. So this is one of those facial masks with, let's see, does it have, oh, oyster shell powder. Okay. I am going to talk a little bit about this. So I have heard from multiple, uh, dermatologists who have YouTube channels. So take that with a grain of salt, um, that physical exfoliation should be done minimally, if at all. And if you do it, be careful what you use. So things like ground up walnut shells, ground up oyster shells, things like that can actually have um, very microscopically sharp edges to them that can leave micro abrasions on our face and is not good for the skin barrier. Um, now, I don't know why if it's that bad, it would still be something that's so widely sold. But I've seen a lot of dermatologists on YouTube, online, so like I said. But um, re um, highly, highly recommend that you stay away from physical exfoliants because there is the skin barrier. Dr. Dre is one of them, actually. Um, she's a very well-known dermatologist YouTuber. And she taught, she did a whole video on physical exfoliants and how she, she fell victim to it. And she was using one every day and it can cause long-term inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So I, I, I like physical exfoliants. I use them probably two to three times a month at most, but I don't use things with like ground up oyster or walnut shells or things like that. I use ones that are, have the smoother exfoliants, like, like cranberry seeds, something like that. Um, so that's what I have to say about that. I wouldn't buy that. I would not, I would not buy this product. I wouldn't even consider it. I am starting to grow curious about Skin Authority. Their uh, products are a little bit pricier, so I'm going to wait and see if people start talking about that brand. But looking into them this sale, uh, they, they are starting to appeal to me. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep my eye on them. Um, I don't know anything about the Kate Somerville products. I'm so sorry. I thought I did. Um, I'm just going to skip over things. The BKR, people love these beaker bottles. I'm just going to call them that. I don't know if that's okay. Um, people love them. Uh, people, some, some people complain about the narrow mouth being a little difficult to clean. Um, I'm not going to talk about this. I don't know. Milk makeup. I have seen people... <clears throat> Again, this has been pers persistent. Some people seem to love milk makeup and some people seem to hate it. Some people are talking about, well, I'll, I'll talk about that product when I get to it. But yeah, so far that's what I had to say about milk makeup. I think that this lip, lip gloss, I think this is a lip gloss. Lipstick lip gloss hybrid. Okay. I think it had actually fairly decent reviews on Ulta. You can double check. Okay, I don't know. I don't tend to get I don't tend to get non-beauty products actually. Um this is a bundle, so I'll talk about each of these things individually. I don't know. I don't know. Bundle again. I don't know. I don't do electronics for the reason I mentioned before. Way of will, nobody talks about their products. No one seems to think much of them in the forum at least. Um, this, I remember when I saw it before, I was thinking that it was kind of silly and it helped you cut your avocados, but it actually is to help you grow your avocado <laughs> seeds, which you don't actually need this thing either. And it still is a little silly. I've grown avocado seeds just in a little bowl before, but, um, anyway, so that's what that's for. Wish I mentioned what I thought about, thought about them. This is a really great skincare line, Kalos, a uh, woman-owned, up-and-coming, ingredient-conscious, socially conscious, all of that. I got this actually in a cause box, and I gave it away as a Christmas present to a coworker. 
Um, an additional winter box. Here's a bundle. I'm not, I'm talking, I'm skipping bundles because the, each of the things in the bundles are sold individually and I'll talk to about those things then. I don't know. I was really tempted to get this. Again, my husband asked me not to paint my nails. I don't need to be buying nail polishes right now. But this looks like a really nice package of nudes by a brand that seems uh, pretty awesome. They are Belgian-born women who grew up in LA. Belgian, I think. Uh, close. That's that's it or close enough. Um, and they started their own company with all of the principles that I hold near and dear to my heart. So, I was I wanted to I wanted to buy these, but I dumped them from my cart. Uh, I don't know. I talked about this brand already. I don't. I do yoga, but I don't. I think that this brand sells a bunch of, for me, unnecessary stuff. Uh, perhaps you might like it. We got a hand wash by, or I, oh yeah, it was the, it was the surprise choice in the winter box and I got their hand wash and we use it in our kitchen. So that's, that's good. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, I don't know. I don't, oh, I do have an opinion on hair tools. So if you, a lot of their hair tools that they have available in their sales, you won't be able to find much information. There are sometimes like the newbie ones, they were have they had the newbie hair tools. They don't have them anymore. Those you can find reviews and information on. But if you can't find if you're eyeing a hair tool and you can't find any information and you're kind of going nuts over whether or not to buy it, I would highly suggest not buying it. If you want a good, nice hair tool, you can seek one out, get a decent price on it, get it from somewhere that you can possibly return it like Ulta or Costco. Even Costco had the T3 for a while. Um, but I, I just, I would suggest not getting it from here because there can be issues with these kinds of things from FabFitFun and then them not working or being a dud and then you're stuck with it. So I would highly suggest not to getting it from here. I don't know if I don't know if this one has reviews. I'm just saying generally across the board. Um, I don't know about these wealthy her uh, vitamins. They've been in the sales for a while. Beauty Bakery. So people seem to be saying great things about this line of products. Um, I think that this one of these palettes was a choice in the last box. Somebody said they liked it. They're getting this other palette. Um, they have something else in here that I'll get to that people are saying nice things about too. I, I do think that they can be a little shimmery. If you don't like a lot of shimmer, then you might get not get their stuff. I don't know. Here's more electronics. I don't do electronics. This is 100% bamboo. So it's probably quite nice. It's a travel pillow. If I traveled a lot, like did a lot of road trips in the car... I would maybe get this. Um, I don't do the mugs. Ahava, here's another Ahava bundle. This one's a little pricier. I have not used, I've only used the hand cream from this bundle. So I can't say whether or not it's a good bundle, but I do like Ahava. I don't know, I don't know about this one. Um, more sheet masks I don't do. Here's a bundle, Summer and Rose is a FabFitFun owned brand. So, Take that for what you will. I don't. I I don't buy any of their stuff. But I think I don't know. I'm gonna stop talking there. <laughs> um, I did buy. Okay, so here's a style item. I didn't buy this style item, but I did buy a style item from FabFitFun. It came separately. It came. It came fairly quickly. It's made in China. Uh, it's a pea coat. I made a video about it. But the one thing I want to mention is that. It did after wearing it for a while it's starting to pill which um, that's when the material starts to ball up uh, so it's starting to pill already and I've only used it I've only worn it maybe four or five times so that's a little bit disappointing but anyway um, there's a bundle I don't know I I'm not into yoga mat spray I do yoga I'm not into yoga mat spray so I don't know I'm not into these because I feel like there are so many people that are sensitive to scents so if somebody, so this is a diffuser, so somebody walks into your home or your office, wherever you have this, 
you might be giving them an instant headache and you don't even really know it. So I try to stay away from stuff like diffusers and things like that. I like them. I think that they smell wonderful, but just in the interest of, you know, those people who are really sensitive to scent. Um, NCLA, I mentioned their company. I don't know anything about these products here. Uh, here's a bundle. I don't know. Mugs. If you're a mug person, I don't buy mugs because mugs I you get as gifts all the time. We I have I am overrun with mugs and I don't even purchase them. Um, this was a higher end brand. Yeah, I wasn't interested in their brand and I can't remember why. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna say any more. I couldn't find many reviews on this. I think I saw one person say that they have another product by them that they like. Oh, here's another thing that I was thinking. I'm going to be a mom. It would be great to have a car rest head mounts, a car headrest mounts that I can entertain my baby while I'm driving. But then I realized I don't have the baby. The baby's not here. <laughs> Maybe they won't even like that. So I'm not getting it. Uh, these are the silicone drops, which, yeah, beauty sponges can be wasteful which is why they made the silicone ones, which I love the spirit of that, but I have heard that these do not work well. They do not distribute the makeup evenly enough and people have not liked them. So that's kind of too bad, but I love the spirit behind it. I don't know. I'm sure this is fine if you want something like it, like this, this little flight kit from my tagalongs. I love games and I almost bought this, but then I decided not to because I don't need it. Here's this Elements of Allele brand again. Not a lot of reviews on their items. Can't find it, so not getting it. No one's talking about it. Ish is uh, owned by FabFitFun, and I have never heard one person say something good about their stuff. So that's what I have to say about that. Okay, here is Seed Phytonutrients again. I said I'd talk about that company when I got to it. I purchased this uh, ultra rich facial cream a couple of sales ago because it sounded great for dry skin, which I have. And I was correct. This is one of those lines that you can find at Whole Foods. It really does retail for around this price. And, um, so if you find it at Whole Foods, that means it's organic, cruelty free, all those and sustainable practices, sustainable practices, all those wonderful things. I should think of like a really short way to say that. Anyway, um, and it is great for my dry skin. It hardly has a scent. It has a little bit, the only scent that I can detect is a little bit like sweet and tangy, which is interesting. I don't love it, but it's so, so subtle that I go, I don't notice it it's very soon after I've, I've, I've applied it. And it's great for dry skin. Um, I don't know anything about Bios Apothecary, although I have been very, very curious about their line of products. If you've used anything by them, please share what you think. I had this in my cart and then I realized, you know, I don't really need the mirror on something like this. And you can, if I, and I don't need something like this right now. And if you go to Ross, you can find these things for $4.99. So if, and when I need one, I'll just go to Ross. That's what I decided. Um, you know, I don't see people talking about this. This is around a lot in the sales, but I don't see people talking about it. I don't know. I don't ever really buy dish dishware stuff. I don't know. Oh, I I am curious. What I, I had all of their stuff. This NP Beautiful line. They have a few things from this line. I had all of their stuff in my cart. They're on the slightly pricier side given the prices in this sale. The prices in this sale are amazing, but they're on the slightly pricier side. One thing that FabFitFun talked about trying to sell them was that it's made by this Hollywood hairdresser who made it for all his movie star clients and they love it, um, which never really sells me personally. And I went to their website and something that I did like was that on their website, they don't talk about that really in any obvious way at all. Maybe they do somewhere, but I didn't see it. So I was glad that they didn't try to use that as a selling point to the consumer. Um, and they, they look like they could be really, really awesome. Another uh, practical thing about the packaging I noticed on the FabFitFun reveal video 
when the woman tried to squeeze it out so you could see, it looked like she was having a pretty hard time squeezing product out of the bottle, and that drives me bonkers. <laughs> anyway, I am going to sit back and wait and see if people use this, and if, if this is the first time I'm seeing it in a sale, so I feel fairly confident that it will show up again in future sales. So hopefully if there are some reviews at that point, I will purchase it, maybe, we'll see. Um, Here's another mommy thing that I almost bought but realized I don't need because I don't have the baby yet and I have no idea if it's something that I will want. It's a hook with that also serves as a power bank and then I realized, okay, so my husband, he has carabiners and I have a power bank. So I don't need this extra thing. So I'm not getting it. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen people talking about this silked pillowcase. This is a different brand than the one that's been in sales, so I haven't seen people talking about it. Um, I don't know. Here's more masks. I don't do masks. These are really cute, and I think these might be sterling silver. These are sterling silver, so these would be okay. And this price is a little pricey for sterling silver for something so small, but that's a much more understandable price. So th these are great. These, these earrings make sense to me. These, this piece of jewelry makes sense to me. Skin-esque. This looked like a great face cream, but I need another. <laughs> this is cute. There was somebody on the forum who said, I need another face cream like I need another head. Actually, if I had another head, I would need more face cream. <laughs> it was really cute. Anyway, so I don't need this, but this looked really appealing. This looked like something I would like to try at some point. Um, I almost bought these. I almost had these in my cart because I've been doing yoga and it really is annoying when your feet slip. But if you have a good yoga mat, you shouldn't slip. Um, okay, I don't know. I don't know. Electronics. Oh, I did hear that this one has pretty bad reviews. The Bidet Buddy. Um, oh, I didn't even see these. I don't know. Here's a bundle. I won't talk about it. I don't, this is just a makeup bag, whatever. I talked about this brand again. This is the MP Beautiful Hair Care Line. I am going to keep my eye on them. Um, I don't know about these light treatment, uh, but I can say that I was at my dermatologist's office and I was asking her about the pigmentation on my chest and she did say that light therapy, she did, she recommended light therapy. So, that's that's all I know about that. <laughs> um, show me your Moo Moo robe. We got one in a box as an option once. It wasn't this pattern. It's an okay robe. I have a few robes. It's not my favorite. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Palmetto. I don't know much about that brand. I'm not going to say much more. Um, this is a, is this one of those foldable ones or rollable ones? This looks like a very thin yoga mat. I don't like thin yoga mats personally. Um, it can be it can be it can be painful on your wrists and your feet if your yoga mat is not cushy enough. At least personally. Anyway, I wouldn't buy that. I would not buy that yoga mat. I bought this portfolio with a different cover. I don't like this cover. VP of daydreaming. I would not. I would not bring that to work. But uh, I, I do I do like the one that I have. Mine's kind of gray with gold polka dots on it. Um, I'm this is just a workout thing. If you want it, go ahead. I don't know much about this brand. I don't recommend the Magi brand, but I don't know about much about this brand. I don't know. Um, here's a bundle, Summer and Rose. That's owned by FabFitFun. Here is. The beaker bottle, I talked about that. I don't know anything about these roll-ons. Uh, here is, here's the MP Beautiful, sorry, my father <laughs> came into the room and it kind of threw me off. Here, okay, let me get back on onto a roll here. Um, uh, so I, I, again, I'm keeping an eye on this line of products. Uh, these are so, so cute, but you can get better speakers. But for $7, I don't know. I don't know. They're darling, but I think that's probably it. I, I can't imagine them being all of that great for sound quality, but they're cute. Maybe for your um, daughter or something or your son. Okay. Uh, I have to get back into the groove here. That really threw me off. Okay. So now uh, let's see. Here's jewelry again. Sterling silver with pave crystals. I don't know what that means, but so sterling silver. Okay. These are... These are kind of lovely, actually. 
Now I'm having difficulty not adding them to my cart. Okay, Timeless. So this is uh, the same brand that makes that vitamin C serum I said that had really good reviews. This is just a spray, a hyaluronic acid spray, so I don't know anything about it. Um, I don't know anything about this one either, but it's got bee venom in it apparently. So if you're a vegan, you want to stay away from this. Uh, Tarte, I talked about not getting them, um, because not getting Tarte because they're owned by Coe's. I would look up, I think that this does have good reviews. I would look up this color. I remember looking it up before and thinking it was a very pale pink, too pale of a pink than I would like anyway. Um, so let's see, I don't know about these. There it is again, the NP Beautiful. Again, with jewelry, check the materials. More electronics. I don't do electronics. Uh, some accessories. I don't do that. Here is Beauty Bakery again. People were asking if this was very shimmery, it, and it seems to be. The answer was yes. So, if again, if you don't like a lot of shimmer, I would stay away from this. A friend of mine said that Kathleen Lights reviewed this and really liked it. Um, Laundress. People who use Laundress say that they really like it. Oh, there were some people talking about this on the forum saying that the ones that they received recently were kind of cakey and going on and rolling on just not well. I don't know if maybe the products had dried out that they received. Um, heads up there. People were talking about that recently on the forum. Um, I don't know anything about these uh, aromatherapy roller balls, but I've seen them in prior sales. And then here's this Gaia by Neon & Co. again, waiting for people to start talking about that. I saw somebody said that this was just kind of eh, didn't, wasn't impressed by it, said that the bottle was really high quality, but the cap was really cheap quality. Um, but this brand, though, does look does look very nice and interesting, MS uh, Skincare. Stands for Malin and Sparrow, I think. Um, so definitely keep an eye on them, but I did see for this particular product, somebody said they didn't like it. Uh, okay, I don't know, here's more light hair therapy. Let's talk about Saturday Skin. So Saturday Skin seems like a brand, and this is kind of what I've seen actually, it was nice to see this confirmed in the forum, other people had similar opinions. They're a K-beauty brand. They're really doing a good job of putting themselves all over the subscription box world. They have, these ingredients are pretty, pretty insane. So I would definitely run these through the ingredients analyzer. This is an essence and something that makes absolutely no sense is that in the top ingredients, there's a silicone. So siloxane, anything that ends in siloxane can also be considered a silicone. And for a skin essence to have a silicone in it, that does not make any sense. Silicones are cheap, they're slippery, they're synthetic polymers that make things feel smooth. Um, there's more silicones down here, here's di a, a dimethicone. Um, so it, the ingredients are quite odd, and a lot of people are saying that they weren't very impressed by certain products of theirs. I think their patch packaging looks quite nice, but so I, I definitely don't recommend this essence, and I don't recommend... I don't really recommend them as a line of products, actually. So, okay, I don't know. I don't really buy these kinds of things on FabFitFun. Here's more ish. They're FabFitFun brand, not well liked. Skin Nation, this was kind of interesting. This brand, I'm a little curious about them. Again, up and coming. Um, I think women, woman owned, uh, cruelty free, all that stuff. Uh, but not a lot of info other than that as far as reviews go. Um, more ish, Bios Apothecary, again, if you know anything, I'm starting to get to stuff that I don't know too much about, uh, cosmetics, I tried one of their masks from a Cosbox, it was a pleasant mask to use, and then it smelled like lemon verbena, which if you have been watching me for a while, you know that that scent reminds me of lemon pledge, and I, uh, it, I don't like lemon pledge very much. Um, okay, so these are more just accessory, not beauty stuff, so I don't know too much. I don't really recommend getting a lot of this kind of stuff on FabFitFun unless it's a really great deal and you're sure. Um, uh, facial, I don't know anything about this facial tool. Talked about diffusers. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, here's more Emma skin skincare. I didn't see anyone talking about this particular product though. Um, I would steer. I would be very skeptical of jewelry. Uh, or just be very, you know, read read what the materials are. Like I said. Here's more gadgets and accessories that I don't, I steer clear of, more face masks, jewelry. Let's see if there's anything else that I have. Um, I talked about style items. I haven't gotten that one, but I mentioned my experience with style item. Oh, here, here, I did look into this. Here's a product. Um, this is an overnight sleeping mask. There are a few reviews. It seems like it's fairly decent. It does not have any the reviews compared to the Ahaba overnight hydration mask that I talked about. Uh, the reviews are, don't compare to the Ahaba one. The Ahaba one is amazing. So this could be good, but I kind of doubt it even comes anywhere close to the Ahaba one. Um, oh, I do have these from a cause box and they work fine. They're a little bit bulky. Uh, but they work fine. I think that they're probably not worth the $34. You could probably find, well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. They work fine. They're a little bit bulky, and I believe the charge time is about four hours, so you do have to charge it. These were okay. These were okay. Um, there's Seed again. I have. A, I only use their, moisture, their moisturizer that I mentioned. Okay. Um... I don't have anything really to say about, oh, this is Unhide. This is the same brand that made the blanket that people are loving from the last box. I had put that blanket away to save as a gift, but people are raving about it so much that I will probably open it. Um, so here are just some accessories and style items. So, you know, if you want to take the plunge and gamble on quality, uh, go for it. But I... Again, a lot. Oh, this is really cute. Sterling silver locket. Oh, that's really cute. And it's sterling silver. Oh, how pretty. How pretty. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, accessories. Uh, just be sure that you know that the quality is going to be something that's up to your standard. If, if you're not sure, I would look elsewhere. Um... I really look into the beauty products primarily, so I'm not seeing many beauty products. That's why I just keep scrolling. Um, more ish. Okay, and then sizing. People are really confused about sizing here. I wonder if they fixed it. Uh, it was like a 32 inch was a considered a large. Anyway. I don't know if they fixed it. Lots of style items. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even if I thought it was cute. the The pea coat that I bought was a twenty dollars, and it was supposed to be like sweatshirt material. So I was just really intrigued. Um, I still don't regret buying it. I think it was worth the twenty dollars, but definitely. I definitely wouldn't buy much else. Oh, people, so people really do like this. This turns into a bed. It's a beanbag chair that turns into a full-size bed. This one turns into a full-size bed. And people like this. I have not seen one person say they regretted buying it. So if you have like a, a guest room or a kid's room and they have friends stay over, something like this could be really fun. Uh, so yeah, I have not seen one person regret buying this. Um, Jennifer Zuner makes good jewelry. Stainless steel. Yeah, she makes good jewelry. Um, okay. I don't know. This is, this intrigued me, but I don't know anything about this line of products. Nasolo. And then lamps and carpets and donate money. Okay, now here are the out of stock items. <clears throat> People like poopery. Uh, you spray it in your toilet before you go, and it supposedly it helps a lot. I uh, don't – these – my mother my mother uses these, and some people were talking about the essential oils being problematic 
in dryers because of the flash point. And there was a whole bunch of debate about that on the forum. I don't really know anything about that. And I don't know if that was a legitimate worry. Um, but that was, I did see that. I don't, I don't think it was a legitimate worry, but people were debating that idea. So I like the Corez body butters. When I first used it before I learned much about ingredients, I really, really did like it. I um, did notice after using it though that they had a formaldehyde releaser in them. And that is something that I do try to avoid. Uh, but a lot of lotions do have that. So I'm curious to learn more about that ingredient, but it, it doesn't sound good. <laughs> so I, I do avoid it. I'm not a scientist. Anyway, so this is one of the most nourishing i haven't tried this scent the fig but this is one of the most hydrating body butters if you don't like a body butter that takes a while to sink into your skin this is not for you um so this one takes a while i don't know anything about these hair towels um this is cute i thought this was cute summer and rose so that's the fab fit fun brand uh but i don't need it i have one Oh, this is Dr. Brandt. So Dr. Brandt tests on animals. Other than that, uh, so if you're not interested in, in that information, people seem to love this night cream. What I don't know if it's a night cream. It's a cream. Uh, face morning and evening. So people really love this. And I think that this is probably the best price I've seen it available for in the sales by far. Uh, again, they're not putting expiration dates, so I don't know why it's so cheap. I think FabFitFun may have heard us and, and, and was able to get their prices down again this sale because people have been complaining about how they've been more expensive um, lately. So people love this. I don't buy it because Dr. Brandt, uh, their products are subject to animal testing. I don't, I, this is one of those ones where I looked at the website and it's definitely, uh, it's geared toward teenagers. So if you have a teenager who likes to play with their hair, you might get this for them. But if you go to their website, it just, it doesn't feel like it's for me. Um, a lot of their advertisement pictures for their products are, let me try to find a product here. Well, I'm not really seeing it now. I remember when I came here before, it, uh... There were a bunch of pictures and their models were all teenagers, but I don't see it this time. See, she, she looks very young, but actually not, it's nothing like, um, it was before. So maybe they redid their website or they had some sort of campaign going on at that time. Uh, so actually now it's not. It doesn't feel nearly as exclusive, but again, I, 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 I'm not interested because I still have that impression in my mind. I love the aqui uh, aquis or aquis or aki, however you say it. Uh, it means water, I'm pretty sure in some language, but uh, it's a rapid dry towel. I have two of the large ones. This one is just the regular size, I believe but I have two of them. So uh, I like them a lot, I really do. And I think that they're much more versatile than the hair turbans that have been available in a lot of the sales that a lot of people really seem to prefer actually over the towels. I prefer this one. I am one, I'm, I'm one of the few people who does not like this, mo this, this mask. This is a hair mask. It's the Moroccan Gold Series treatment mask. I do not like it. I find it to be heavily perfumed and not as enriching as I would like it to be for my hair, but I am alone in that. This, this product gets raved about. I didn't even finish mine. I talked about this. This is just a pill case. Uh, Sinaj, I talked about that. Oh, Unite, people are really excited to see the some Unite products. People seem to really like this line of products. The two that they have available in the sale aren't something that I would use very often for my hair type. People have said that this was gross in the forum. Here are the $5 blue light blockers that I was saying. If you want to try to get some, oh, see, it's available now. If you want to try to get some, get these to try them out for yourself. Like I said, they really seem to help if I'm going to be on the computer at night before bed. Um, here's Unite again. 
uh, let's see. Oh, I was really tempted to get this. Again, nail polishes. My husband asked me not to paint my nails while I'm pregnant. And I don't really like glitter nail polishes very much. But I'm really, really curious about this line, Smith & Colt, uh, for their nail polishes. They had some other stuff too, but I really love the bottle. It's so fancy and pretty looking. Um, I think that people have said good things about this. I, I think. I'm not going to say anymore because I can't remember quite, quite remember. Um, I have used the Levito foot cream and it is a very, very good foot cream. It smells, it, you can kind of, it has tea tree in it and you can kind of smell the tea tree. It has a little bit of a Swedish, sweet-ish smell, <laughs> not Swedish, <laughs> um, <laughs> but it has kind of a sweet smell, very, very mild and it is a good foot cream. I do like it. I almost got some, but then I realized I have plenty of foot cream. This accelerates stuff. So there are no reviews online, really. Um, there, it's very cheap. They seem to be cruelty free. Can't find much. This face wash looks okay. Oh no! So yeah, this face wash has an dimethicone in it, which face wash should not have dimethicone in it in my book. I don't. Dimethic silicones have a place in beauty products, but they do not have a place for me in a cleanser. Um, Dirty Lamb people have not said great things about this line of products and they're always at TJ Maxx so if you want to try anything by them go ahead and pick one up there and give it a whirl but uh, people are not saying great things about them I talked about this line I've talked about Lorac I've talked about Daily Concepts I have this this is a good defining spray gel I've used it in my hair and it kind of gives me that lovely wild woman look uh you can see they have someone with curly hair advertising it so i do like it it doesn't give me super well defined curls but it gives me that fun wild woman look that i like sometimes and uh it's also it's i find sprays to be very suffocating usually but this one is not it is very easy to use i could spray it on my hair and i, I barely even notice it so that's really really nice also i do like it i do like this spray gel i've heard that the headband is nice here the bear paw headband and i've heard that the gloves are not so nice so just FYI there, $5 is still a great price. Here's more green goo. I talked about green goo. It's well loved, but I bought a tin of the dry skin one and it just sits in my closet. Um, I don't remember what people say about the way of will deodorants. I, I, uh, I did know, sorry, don't remember. Um, sheet masks, this is Calpharma. Calpharma also makes that in a moss day. Um, face wash and then Maste face cream and they also make there's a skin rx i think is what it's called product that's been in the sales if any of those ring a bell and you've liked those that's a little bit of a connection there for you this looked actually quite interesting if you have thinning hair this might be something that you might try for try for yourself i one person one or two people spoke up about these that these were nothing special um, I like this kind of hair tie. Just kind of depends on if you like that kind of hair tie, really. Um, here's Accelerate again. So I don't know about the ingredients in this one, but again, it's it, I couldn't find much information about the products. There were no reviews or anything like that. So kind of buy it to try it at your own um, gamble. Uh, the sponge gels, Magi. I'm sure you can't really mess up a trigger point ball actually so that might be fine I was intrigued by these the this works multi-acid pads again I just I dumped it from my cart because of the one-time use thing but these are probably quite nice particularly if you have breakouts um, niacinamide's good for acne prone skin niacinamide's good in general but it's good for um, acne prone skin and oh it even says it to counter morning breakouts and perk up dull looking skin so this would this could be actually quite nice i i was intrigued by it but i in order to save myself money i i and and not get single use i dumped it from my car there's dirty lamb again there's skin authority again this is the one that i said that i kind of have my eye on this line of products they're starting to intrigue me i'm going to i'm going to watch you skin authority <laughs> Uh, there's, um, oh, Rayel. This brand makes a lot of feminine hygiene and feminine support products. They're really interesting. 
go to their website. They, they're pretty interesting. Again, here's this intoxicating brand. I talked about this. I talked about the compression socks. I talked about green goo. Um, this is a bundle, so I'll talk about the stuff in the bundle. I talked about this. I talked about this. Okay, sorry. Uh, I Oh, I, I heard that this doesn't work very well. So get yourself a tile. There's a brand called Tile. They're not cheap, but they work really well. I heard that this one doesn't work very well. Um, I almost bought this, but this line of products is really, really there. It's geared toward protecting um, color treated hair, which makes sense. My hair is not color treated, so I decided to just delete it from my cart mostly to save myself some money. Here's the Sinaj. This was in the bundle I talked about. I have this. This is the Lifestyle Co. Eye Serum, and it is okay so far. I'm not going to, I don't, I'm not raving about it yet. I've used it a few days, and it is okay. It's a very, very light oil-based eye serum, and it seems fine. I will let you know what I think as I use it more. I do like this lifestyle company. They make the uh, I they make the oil cleanser that I raved about earlier in my video when I showed you my cart. So they're an LA-based company, cruelty-free, non-toxic, all those wonderful things. Here's more air. I talked about their face wash. I don't know anything about their body wash. I have read that there could be consequences to long-term use of this Ovation hair product. So I would look into that, read some forums, see what you think. Definitely do some research before you outright buy this, just based on what it says right here. I'm not sure about that, but yeah, I've heard. I don't want to start talking about like the rumors and gossip that I've heard. I've heard about like some hair loss, hair breakage over time. I'm not sure. Definitely do some research if you're looking into getting this and you've never used it before. Or comment below if you have used it and you have reason to debunk all those rumors that seem to be going around. There's There are, there are a few um, blog posts and things about it. Uh, here's Saturday Skin. I gave you my spiel about that. I've seen this before. I don't know uh, the pre-heels. This is, you spray on your ankles, I think, before you, yeah, I don't know anything about that and people don't seem to talk about it. Um, I don't know about this. This is Earthly Body. Again, they make the Marrakesh products and also the the massage oils. I did buy this and I have not opened it. I bought it as something to break up to put into gifts. Um, I have not opened it and smelled it. I've Did I talk about this? This is in my cart, but I don't have a memory of talking about it. It seems like a, a good product to try. I'm going to give it a try. Try another R&Co product. Uh, there's Ish. Here's a gadget. Don't buy gadgets. I love Pure Art Gun Oil, and I love Marrakesh stuff by Earthly Body, so I that could be good. That could be really good. I don't know much about this. This is a new product by This Works, so can't say much. There's a bundle. I have not heard the best things about this line of makeup. I don't know how to pronounce it. Douche? Douche? Um, I have not heard good things. I've Anyway, that's that's it. Not about that particular palette, just that line. This seems like it could be a really lovely eyeliner. I almost got it. I ended up dumping it because I don't wear eyeliner often enough, and I needed I wanted to cut down my cart. I used the Nelson Nelson J Shampoo and Conditioner Duo once, and it was fine. It was not mind blowing. It was simply like okay. Smells a little beachy, coconutty, reminds me of Hawaii, so that was quite pleasant, but it was okay. It was okay. I didn't, I don't, it's not even worth it to spend $9 on again for me. I'd rather try something else to see if I can land on something that's better. I've heard good, I've, people have said that this is good. No one's raved about it, but people have said that this is a good exfoliator. It uses aluminum oxide, with it, which is not sharp. That's a, that's an exfoliating mineral. It's aluminum. Don't get scared. It doesn't get absorbed in our skin in that form. So, uh, I've heard that this is good. I'm not, I haven't heard enough raving about it to get it for myself. This looked interesting. This is, um, I think she was born in Trinidad, the woman who started this line. And, uh, it looks really, really interesting. Not a lot of reviews, but I'm going to keep my eye on this one too. I, I just don't wear a lot of makeup. So if I wore a lot of makeup, I would have that probably in my cart still. Um, this works. I don't know about this one. Here's a sheet mask. So I, I kind of glossed over it. 
Here's an R Co. Prep Spray. I have not seen anyone raving about this, but I do feel like I remember it being good for finer hair, not necessarily coarse and curly hair, hair like mine. I don't know anything about this bundle with the petty egg and all of that. Oh, what happened there? Um, anyway, I don't know anything about this bundle. I wanted to like it, but it doesn't seem really worth it. The Marula Hair Stuff. So I bought, which is down here, I bought this once and it was terrible. It had a kind of a perfumed fragrance, like chemically perfumed, like like not like botanical, but when you walk into a department store and you go up to the perfume counter kind of perfume smell, um, which I don't prefer. I prefer botanical and natural. Um, and it just didn't work. It was worse than like conditioners, which it shouldn't be. It's supposed to be a conditioning treatment mask. Anyway, so I did not like it at all. And therefore, because of that, this uh, shampoo and conditioner duo of theirs is guilty by association, so I'm not interested in trying it. That said, they have an amazing facial oil that I did get a couple of sales ago. If that ever shows up, definitely get that. It is wonderful, but I did not like their hair mask, so I'm not getting, I'm not interested in their shampoo and conditioner. Um, this is one of those things that people are saying, don't get it from here, get a better one from Amazon with hard sides, not soft sides. Um, I'm not going to talk about these, Pungel, I already did talk about. I talked about the silicone drops, I talked about this. Dr. Brandt, I don't know about this product. Um, crown brush set. So, people do not seem to like the crown brushes. Um, I have not seen anyone say a good thing about them. That they're cheap, that they fall apart, they don't work well, they don't seem to help product well. Um, yeah, I have not heard good things about them. Don't know about this. Skin Authority. I'm so curious and I really wanted to try these, but again, the one-time use thing, trying to reduce waste, I decided not to get it. But they probably, if you're not, if you're going to get them, you let me know how they are because they look like they could be pretty good. They're glycolic acid pads, so they're a chemical exfoliant. So they look like they could be really good. So if you get them, definitely tell me how they are. I don't tan. I don't self-tan. Uh, people like this brush. People seem to go after this brush quite a bit. There's Saturday Skin. Okay, let's see. Um, people send, tend to say good things about this hair mask. Even though I said I used their shampoo and conditioner and it was just okay, I, am, I have been curious about this hair mask. People seem to really like it. Uh, okay. I don't know. There's Lorac again. I talked about Lorac. talked about Saturday Skin. This has been around for a long time. It started in 75 in Michigan or something like that. I couldn't find anything particularly special about it that made me want to get it, though. Um, as Again, if you have anything to add, please put it in the comments below. I don't know. More cosmetics. I already talked about this brand. Um, oh, this seems to be kind of a novelty item. It's a it's not vegan, and it's a sheet mask, so that's, uh, again, I don't do sheet masks, but this one seems kind of fun if you're, if, you're not, uh, if you're not eliminating things based on those things that I just mentioned. This one seems kind of fun. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting, oh, I, I talked about that one. Oh, Caring. It's, so it's pronounced Caring. So it's Karen G. Karen Grossman is the woman who came up with this line. But it's pronounced, it's supposed to be pronounced Caring. And she has some lovely beauty products. I tried her retinol. It was the first retinol I ever tried and it was amazing. And I also tried a cleanser of hers, which was also very, very nice. So this is probably nice. I haven't tried this particular product. There's a little Visanti bundle. Um, I don't know. Oh, that's Dirty Lamb. I did talk about them already. I don't know much about the throw blankets, but there's a lot of discussion about those on the forum if you're interested in those as well. I don't know. The Sinaj I talked about. Kate Somerville. Sorry, I don't know. Um, this Levito Skim Balm. Do I have anything to say about this? Uh, looks like a pretty straightforward skin balm for very dry skin. I love Levito. I have not heard good things about this, Grom and Alchemist Age Repair Lip Treatment. So I, d I deleted it from my cart. Uh, some people said it just was nowhere, it was just disappointing. 
it was just disappointing. And Grown Alchemist, people love their products, so they've already set the bar pretty high for themselves. So they might it might be easy for them to disappoint because people love them so much. Um, here's more Ish, more Tarte. I've talked about both of those things. Human and Kind, people are liking the Human and Kind stuff. They showed up recently in a box, and now they're showing up in sales. There's Ish, talked about it. People really like this Cocoa Floss stuff. <clears throat> there's Dr. Brandt, Murad, Murad is a, they have great stuff, they're owned by Unilever as well, so I, I stopped buying them, I've used a, I've used a handful of, of things of theirs, and um, I haven't liked some of them, but I really like some of them, so, you know, hit and miss, I don't know about this eye serum, oh, there's a gravity blanket, okay, that's it. Wow, this might be my longest video, and I thought it was going to be one of my shortest. If you, I hope this was helpful for you. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.